men typically are motivated, lots of motivation in the beginning. I mean, he just got the energy to do it. And I'm sure everybody's had this experience where you have guests over for dinner and suddenly you have the motivation to clean up your house, <laughs> right? And that's, it's just there, the motivation is there. That's because, you know, you don't want them to see this and this and this, and, and, and but the energy's there and it's also a, a little bit of a crisis, but it, it stimulates dopamine. Newness in a relationship stimulates dopamine. Somebody's new, different, and, and but what happens in a good relationship is familiarity sets in. You feel safe, you feel more serotonin gets produced, it's more relaxing. And that newness of dopamine in the beginning of a relationship just raises women's estrogen so high and raises men's testosterone so high. And so sex therapists will say, you know, you need to have little getaways, you know, go somewhere new and different, and be in a new and different bedroom, you know, all, you know, a hotel. And so these are all good things. It's little helpful things. But the reality is life starts to become very routine in relationships and it's very easy, comfortable. We get kind of lazy and why the laziness comes in, the newness isn't there. But there's other things that can, the reason that, it's, that motivation is there and that happiness is in woman is because when dopamine goes up, men's testosterone automatically goes up. Mm -hmm. Women's estrogen automatically goes up. So when you don't have dopamine stimulation all the time, you can still stimulate high testosterone in a man and high estrogen in a woman by the way you communicate with each other and understanding that polarity, when you're more masculine than her and she's more feminine than you, there's attraction. Women are turned on to you. They want to have sex with you. They can't wait to have sex with you. Uh, and what you see in marriages is men are kind of like having to negotiate and beg their wives and why are we having more sex? And we want, <laughs> it's just it's a sad story. And she, but see, she's not a bad person. She's lost interest because she can't feel interest until her estrogen levels hit over 10 times more than his or sometimes 15 times more. It's just, it's got to get up to that point. And if it's not up, then any kind of sexual thought even is kind of disgusting to her, you know. And that's where the non-sexual touch is important. That's a, that and listening to her and planning dates and hearing her. Hearing a woman is the most powerful estrogen stimulator, but non-sexual touch is also really, really good. So here's a little system I've always done, which is I wake up in the morning, I find my wife and I give her a six second hug. I leave for work every day. I find my wife and I give her a six second hug. I come home from work, I find my wife, I give her a six second hug. I'm gonna go to bed or she's gonna go to bed before me. I run up after, give her a six second <laughs> hug. Four hugs a day as a minimum. That's a really good one. Uh, at least every day, some compliment or expression of I love you. Uh, and you can do that. It's kind of awkward for men when they're not turned on to, to, feel, to feel their love. They love their partners, but because of our, our high testosterone or low testosterone anyway, our bodies are built more testosterone oriented. The brain doesn't have a lot of connection between talking and feeling love. 